It is currently now the path that I do need for Araxor, and the first drop I actually get on the entire trip is Onyx Bolts, and that's actually not that bad, because all this money can go straight into summoning, so I'm pretty happy with that. So during this video, we will have 15 Araxor kills, and the thing is, I only want to show the highlight drop, so I only got the 5 Onyx Bolts in 5 kills, and that's all I'm going to show. So if I say, like, this is an Araxor kill, and then I'm just doing something else, that is exactly why. So we're going to be doing the Oyster now, and I need to unequip my weapon, and by the way, this is on the last kill. I had 4000 HP left, and I had absolutely no food left, so that was a, that was a close one. And actually, I did have Sharpshooter Aura for the entire kill, so after that, that just shows why I can only do 5 kills everything a single trip because without a sharpshooter i'm not killing it so yeah let's see what we get oh we get an ancient page that's actually not bad now i'm not sure if i have this i have no idea how many ancient pages i have i do have all the armadillo ones but i don't know about that i guess i'll check the bank after uh, this is some sweet farming and fishing experience though so uh, we're not really close oh we are close on 78 we might 78 in the next clip maybe so we have two different ancient pages, if I can remember correctly, from like way, way, way back in the days. I remember getting multiple of ancient page one, I'm fairly sure. So I suppose this is number one. Yes, it is. All right. So that's correct. So let's see if this is a duplicate or not real quick. And it's not. Awesome. So this, I guess, is number four or two. It's number two. All right. So we have one, two and three now. So I only need one more of those. So that's pretty neat. So for the past three days I've not really been able to record anything because I've been extremely sick. I had a 40 degrees fever and my voice was just non-existent during this time. But if you look in the chat I have 30,000 ascension creatures killed and that's pretty much what I've been doing during this time I've been sick. I've just been gathering as many keys as I possibly could. I think I've killed over like maybe 8,000 ascension creatures. I can't exactly remember but I'm fairly sure I started around 22, 23,000. So I've been killing a lot of these and uh, I do have like 50 15 Quintus keys in the bank I do believe which is a okay -ish chance to get the last signet So I guess the next clip is going to be me using all the keys that I have and I'm still going to AFK like three or four more hours of ascension creatures So I uh, have a I guess I'll have an okay -ish chance to get a signet All right, here we have it 13 keys. Let's see if I can get lucky on one of them That's all that I need and yet again, another trip with no signet, unfortunately. But during this time, I actually did hit level 12 on my legs. I'm going to be using a equipment siphon that I need to make as well. And uh, I think I'm going to get like 500,000 experience when it's level 12. So let's do that real quick. I'm not sure yet, but I do believe this is going to be a couple of levels, not only just one. So let's see what level we can hit. We go from 61 to 63. So yeah, that's two levels. And we're, uh, I guess, fairly close to 64. Pretty good invention gains overall. I feel like I'm getting into how invention works now and due to a lot of help from you guys Like I should always siphon at level 12 and then always uh, disassemble at level 10. That's really good uh, You know information for me to know so thank you guys for that and we're making progress Another advice that I took from you guys was to do temple trekking for the bowstrings and I do actually get these magic shield bow challenges fairly often I do always extend them because you know I need that 89 if I do ever get that last quintus signet and each one of these hard tokens can give Let's see how much 70 to 210 bowstrings and I think if I get 70 It's like the same amount of speed if uh, I just spin flags and if I maybe a bit faster actually But if I do get 210 that's like way 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 faster so the average result is way better and I'm going to be doing that for every single challenge that I do get so my fletching should be going up fairly good in the near future. Now this is truly an amazing feat of strength for my account. This is pretty much what all the questing ever has been about. I'm going to be completing the ritual of the Majorat quest which actually wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be way un more annoying than it actually was. But yeah, I think this is actually like, now I don't need to do any more quests unless I wanna just get quest cape or something like that. Cause I feel like all the milestones are completed. So I got 78 agility, I didn't really read up on the experience. Oh, I get to choose, that's actually awesome, I'm going to put it on in fletching. 80k? Do I really put that in fletching? Um, yeah I do, I want any fletching experience that I can get towards that 89. So, 160k fletching is actually not that bad. I'm currently 87 and I'm getting fairly close to 88, I guess. I'm actually really stupid. I didn't even see that I had a third lamp in my inventory. But when I read all the uh, things that I got, I was like, wait, three lamps? Sweet, that's 80k more fletching. So now that we're done with that quest, it's time to do some benefits from that and we're going to be killing glaciers, which is something I've never done before, but the reward seems absolutely amazing and if we're really lucky we can get a pair of boots as well. I wouldn't really bet on it, but you know, 
if we're lucky enough, we might get one. Now, the charm from this is actually really amazing as well, so even if I get nothing at all, then I still, well, I still get Armadil Staff Shards as well, I guess, so that's pretty cool. But the charms is, like, really, really great. You get Crimsons and Blues most of the time, and you get three at a time. So it's absolutely amazing, and I do need as many charms as I can get my hands on to get 96 summoning, which is great, so let's do this. Now this is like one of the best drops that I can get from the normal drops, Headless Arrows, because I can just put broad arrow tips on them and get shit tons of fletching experience, which is exactly what I want, so I'm very happy with those drops and hopefully I'll get shit tons of them actually. Oh my god, I didn't even expect this, I just hit 50 million magic experience, that's like halfway almost to 120. That's actually insane, like I've just been doing magic through doing most of my slayer and some of the bossing as well, like Samurak and all that. So I would say that's actually really cool to have already 50 million. Oh, thank you for that massive troll beam, dude. But the troll beam might have some good reward in it, so let's see what the clue scroll that I got is going to give us. Hopefully something good. Alright, that's terrible. But otherwise, I am actually at 141 Glacor Kale counts, and I have 156 blue and 159 crimson charms, so the charms is absolutely ballistic. Like, if I'm going for 99 summoning sometime, that's the way I'm going to be doing it, because the magic experience is great. Also, I'm currently like 364,000 magic experience over from where I was in the last clip, and I've only killed 141 uh, overall, so it's, it's crazy, it's absolutely insane, uh, and I'm going to to be going for about 200 kills and then I'll probably stop for the video because they are quite slow to kill but they're kind of fun to kill actually my weapon just broke as well so I need to repair that and I'll get back into it again also I did actually have zero charge overall on all my invention gear so I was using the chaotic staff in the start and realized oh it's like using a tier 1 weapon, so if your uh, gear is uncharged and you're using it, like for example my legs, I just realized that as well, they are going to be like tier 1 gear, which is absolutely terrible. It's like basically not having any legs on, so I'm going to be changing that for the future, but if you didn't know that, I didn't know that, that's how it works. So you can't use anything that's augmented if you don't have any charge. And now we have the 200 kill count on Glacor, so I'm just going to be going to the bank real quick and just fetch everything, and I'll show you guys all the loot that I got in those kills. Alright, so this is all the loot that I've got, and for a main account, I would say this is absolutely terrible, if you're not an Iron Man, that is, because this is worth like 2.2 million, and that's why I have the uh, Grand Exchange up, just to see the value of this stuff, and 100 of these is pretty much 10 mil, so you could say this is 2.2 million worth. So overall, this is like 3.5 million, maybe, rough estimate, uh, for a main account, and that is terrible for like 2.5 hours of work, probably even 3 hours, so this is not that great, but for my Iron Iron Man, it's glorious, it's the best thing ever just because of all the charms, so I'm pretty happy with that. And also if you do get a pair of boots, I do suppose the gold would go up quite a bit for a main account, and for an Iron Man that would be like the dream, so... Killing them is definitely something I'm going to be doing in the Slayer assignments ahead of me. It's great experience anyway, so I'm I'm really happy with uh, having them unlocked. Remembering the start of the video when I said I was going to do 15 or extra kills in this video, these are the five last that I'm going to be doing, and as I haven't got anything in all these 10 kills except the first uh, Onyx Bolts that I got, I'm just going to show you guys every single of these five loot. So let's see if we can get anything good, and the first loot is going to be another troll drop, you know. Every time I've- oh shit, that's a lot of Saradomi flasks. Holy shit, that's actually a very good drop, even though it is a troll drop that this looks like a leg piece, but I'm actually very happy with this. Alright, let's see what the second kill is going to give us. Uh, Alright, some fletching experience and a lot of Sardomi flasks again. Kill number three, please be something good this time, it would be absolutely amazing, and it's going to be like the worst drop ever. But you know what, we have a chance to pet that, so let's do that real quick, and we get nothing. Nothing, not all. Better luck next time. I do hope so. So my kills have been fairly slow and my sharpshooter aura ran out now on the fourth kill, but I'm still going to do a fifth kill, I'm just going to try to try hard the shit out of that and hopefully not die, even if I do I'm just going to try again because I really want to get that fifth kill in. But anyways, let's see what the fourth loot is going to be. Uh, deja vu, I feel like this is what we got on the first kill or something, but eh, it's decent fledging experience. Come on man, that was easy mode, I have so much food left, look, I have... 2k fish left. Well, it's enough. I lived and there we go. That's the fifth kill. Let's see what it's going to give us. Another dwarf with seed drop. Really? Alright, well, uh, yeah, I'll pet chance that even though I kind of need restores. It's only four of them, so it's not that great. So let's pet chance that. And we roll even higher. So 
that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it and please leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care and thank you guys for watching.